The greatest combative fighters travel to Fort Benning from around the world to be a part of the 5th Annual All-Army Combatives Championship. The popularity of the Army Combatives Program is growing more and more each year, and the director of the Combatives Program here at Fort Benning believes that it's because combatives training offers soldiers the full package. The combatives Program is all about keeping soldiers alive. Imagine, people come in the Army, they're just citizens. We've got to inculcate them with the warrior ethos, and then we're sending them to war. So we've got to prepare them. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best tools that we have for those two tasks. In order to compete in the All-Army Championship, the fighters had to place high in the tournament held at their own duty station. The three-day double elimination event hosted 318 soldiers fighting in seven individual weight classes. In the preliminary rounds, the Warriors were made to abide by the standard fighting rules, which, much like wrestling, does not allow punches or kicks and uses a point system. Combatives to me means confidence. It builds strength and it builds a team when you work together because you're training with a lot of different fighters. You're training with a lot of um, experience and it gains that uh, the warrior ethos that you that we all strive to have. After a brief semifinal round, the brackets were filled and the remaining fighters were ready for the finals. Held according to the advanced fighting rules, fighting a match in the finals is a completely different ball game. Unlike the other bouts, which were held on a mat, the fighters are put in the ring and allowed to use attacks such as closed fist strikes to the face, kneeing the upper body, and kicks to the leg, body, or head. When it was all said and done, whether by KO, TKO, tap out, or choke out, seven of the Army's finest champions walked away with the belt and the satisfaction of knowing they are the best in the Army. Combatives is great, man. It instills warrior ethos. It helps soldiers prepare for war, it prepare for competition, and it helps your motivation, and uh, helps you in real world skills and actually can save your life. After the final award was given out, the referees totaled up the points that the fighters received throughout the tournament. With a total of 271 points, Fort Campbell won first place and bragging rights. That is, until next year. Matt Gallup, Fort Benning TV.